This is the Echo Show 10, a $250 smart display from Amazon that can pan its cameras and track you around the room. Next level, creepy, let's find out. Today we're gonna to talk about how the Echo 10 stacks up when it comes to smarts, sound, cameras, and whether or not that creepy following you thing works or not. First, let's talk about looks. Design-wise, it's fine. It looks like an Echo Show smart display slapped on the front of a big smart speaker, and it weighs in at a chonky 5.6 pounds. The base houses a brushless motor and the speakers, so the 6.7 inch depth makes sense, but the Show 10 will still take up more space on your shelf than a traditional smart display. The Echo Show 10 has solid audio and video specs with a 10.1 inch HD display, a 13 megapixel front facing camera with a wide angle lens, and dual front firing tweeters and a woofer for all your audio needs. That 13 megapixel camera on the Show 10 is a major upgrade from the 5 megapixel camera on the second gen Echo Show. It's also twice the quality of the 6.5 megapixel camera you'll find on the Nest Hub Max. Like other Echo Show displays before it, this moving model has physical buttons for volume control, microphone muting, and a physical camera shutter. Now the obvious standout feature here is the Echo Show 10's motorized face. The Show 10 uses a combination of audio and computer vision to zero in on its subject and track it around a room. You can adjust exactly how far the screen rotates so it doesn't bump into things in a tight space or when it's near other objects. The camera tracking functionality is automatically enabled, so if you want Alexa to shadow you just a bit less or not at all, you'll need to adjust that in the device settings on the display. Options here are pretty customizable. You can select which activities, if any, will trigger motion so you're not forced to live with it all the time. You can also manually tilt and turn the screen and turn motion on or off by swiping down on the display. The Echo Show 10's tracking was pretty spot on in my testing, but I was able to confuse it a few times with two people walking around my kitchen. Sometimes the motion felt a little too sensitive for what I was doing, but overall it was surprisingly useful for doing things like watching TV and taking a video call while cooking. Don't believe me? Take a look. So as you can see, Chris is on the other end of another Echo Show 10 and it's gonna follow him around the room, probably. Yeah, you can tell it's a little bit of a delay, but there's Zoom and for the most part, the Echo Show 10 can track him. Anywhere he goes in the room, it can turn almost 360 degrees. So... How does it do if I like come closer though? Like, hey, you're supposed to be able to tilt, right? No, it can't. It's not going to automatically tilt. It'll only automatically sweep, but it will zoom. Hmm. No tilt. Come on. How fast can it go, though? Pretty slow. Yeah, it's pretty delayed if you're going really quick. Well, I'm just imagining, like, with my kids, like, video chatting with my parents, like, Oh, hey, come look at this! Oh, hey, come... You know, just going crazy. How well can that actually... Keep up. Yeah, exactly. It's a if, we keep, if you keep them far away, I think it's fine, but my kids have the tendency to... Oh, uh -huh. yeah, the up-the-nose shot. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah, it's not perfect. When it comes to audio, the Echo Show 10 blasts out plenty of sound at max volume with little to no distortion, especially for a device that is first and foremost a smart display. 50% volume felt comfortable, and 100% was almost unbearably loud at close range. If that sounds familiar, that's because we felt the same way about the new Amazon Echo. Take a listen for yourself.
far as smarts go, a Zigbee Hub is built into the Echo Show 10 for simple setup of other smart home devices. Our Echo Show 10 had no trouble finding smart bulbs, locks, and cameras. Like Amazon's other Echo devices, you can use Alexa Guard to listen for alarm sounds or glass breaking when you're not home. Plus extra features if you subscribe to the paid version Alexa Guard Plus. New with the Echo Show 10 is occupancy and vacancy based routines that allow you to customize a routine to start or end when someone enters or leaves the area your Show 10 can see. You can also drop in on your Echo Show 10 remotely via the Alexa app. Other features like music, entertainment, and games remain the same across Echo Show devices, so there aren't any big surprises there. The Echo Show 10 is the priciest Echo Smart Display on sale right now, but it's also the most capable. I was impressed with audio and video quality, and the motion feature didn't feel like the total gimmick I thought it might be. Here's the thing, not everyone is going to be comfortable with cameras in their smart home, especially cameras that can follow you around a room. If you think you'd be more comfortable with those motion features turned off, a more affordable Echo Smart Display might be your best bet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, or if you're creeped out by screens that stare back at you, let me know in the comments.